Hello, this video will guide you through Google Cloud Platform's API setup requirements. To begin, we will navigate to the Getting Started widget and choose the first option, Explore and Enable APIs. Within the APIs and Services screen, we can use the library to find a specific API tool. For this example, we want to search for the Compute API which allows us to get resources within a compute network. The search results produce the Compute Engine API. Once selected, we'll need to enable it. We'll also need a second API, so we need to select APIs and Services, and then the Plus Enable APIs and Services option. That action opened a library screen where we can begin another search. We need a Resource Manager API to get the list of projects of an organization. Using the word cloud as a search term, the results pulled up the Cloud Resource Manager API. We will enable this manager and see the service name and overview. After we've enabled the two APIs, we can return to our navigation menu at the top left and select the IAM and admin area of the platform where we need to set up a service account. Select Service Accounts from the menu options, and on the Service Accounts page, we need to use the Create Service Account link. This is to establish a service account for this particular project. Begin the creation by entering a unique name, and then provide a brief description. For reference, and then select the Create button. We need to associate roles with the service account, so to do this, we will click the drop-down menu and pick Computer Network Viewer. We also add a secondary role of Viewer with the same steps. Start by selecting Add Another Role. Use the drop-down option, only this time we want to select Basic to increase the list of roles. That action revealed the Viewer role for selection. With the two roles now added to the service account, we can continue. The third step provides the opportunity to add more user roles or admin roles but we will not need them. We can complete this transaction with the Done button. This screen shows us the new active service accounts for our current project. Right now, the Key ID column indicates no keys. If we look to the right at the last column, or Actions, we can click the Menu Access. Among the options of this menu, we want to choose Manage Keys. Selecting the Manage Key option moved us to Keys, where we can click on the Add Key button and create new key. For an API Connect, we can pick from a JavaScript object notation or the P12 format. For our example, we will leave JSON selected and then click the Create button. After we read this note, which reminds us to store the JSON file securely, we can close this window. The file downloads to our computer and we can open it in our API editor of choice. We hope this helped guide you through the requirements for setting up Google Cloud Platform's APIs. Please visit our other videos or our website at redsill.net.